Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2015 Honda Accord. First, you're going to want to remove the oil cap. You're going to want to lift up the vehicle and place two jack stands right in this area right here. You're going to see a notch right here in this area, one on the left and the right. Go ahead and lower the vehicle safely onto the jack stand. Underneath the vehicle, you're going to find these uh, little turn tabs. You're going to want to turn them to the left to unlock them and then turn right to lock them. This vehicle doesn't have all of them installed, so we only have four, I believe, in this one. But go around the whole skid plate and you'll find and locate all of them. So this is what those little tabs look like. So once you get them all off, just go ahead and pull the panel to the towards the back of the vehicle and just remove it and set it to the side. Now this is the oil pan. This is the oil drain plug. And then the oil filter is right here. We're going to go ahead and remove the oil filter. Now if it's not on too tight, you can remove it by hand just by turning it counterclockwise. Just like this. If the filter's on too tight, you're going to want to grab yourself one of these oil filter wrench tools and just attach it to your ratchet and unscrew it. Go ahead and unscrew the rest of the oil filter by hand. Tilt it over and let the oil drain into your oil bucket. If you're using the K&N filter, go ahead and remove the protective film up on top. Grab yourself some oil and just rub it over the new gasket. Then you can grab a rag and clean off the mating surface of the oil filter. Screw on the new oil filter. And once you bottom out, you can turn it just by hand, just like this, so you can't no more, and that's suffice. You don't need to go any tighter than that. So you don't need to use the tool to retighten it. Hand tight is just perfectly fine. So this is the oil drain plug. You're going to want to position your oil bucket further back, because once you unscrew this drain plug, it's going to shoot out in a very long arch. So you want to make sure you give yourself enough space so that you don't miss your bucket. So grab yourself a 17 millimeter socket and undo this drain plug. Go ahead and undo the rest of the bolt by hand and pull away quickly. Once the oil is draining into your bucket, this will be a good time to replace the gasket. And once the oil has come to a small drip just like this, go ahead and hand thread the rest of the bolt and you're only going to tighten it just a little bit just snug it down just like this you don't need too much torque then all you got to do is reinstall the tabs the skid plate and we'll be able to lower the vehicle we're going to be using 020 mobile one add four and a half quarts of oil you're going to want to then recheck the on the dipstick to check the oil level, pull it out, clean off, and you'll see here on the left side is the low mark and the right side dot is going to be the max mark. Now we're going to reset the oil light. Go ahead and turn on the car. Click on the menu button. Hit settings. Hit vehicle. Scroll down once, select maintenance info, and go ahead and select reset. Confirm your reset, and you're all finished. So 
So this is the end of the video. I hope you learned something. If I helped you save some money, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.